Hello, Leo, and welcome to your February 2021 astrology prediction. This month is very intense because we have five planets in the same sign. Jupiter, Saturn, the Sun, Venus, and Mercury retrograde, all triggering your seventh house. This will be the situation at, until the 18th. And even after that, you will have some seventh house influences. So the most important life area to focus on is the area of relationships. Other important figures in your life. This could be your romantic partner, your business partner, your closest friends, or any other person that plays a major role in your life. It's time to focus on the other person. It might be a challenge. There are some struggles related to this process. With Mercury retrograde, communication might be complicated and intense, but you can find solutions and you really need to reassess this area of your life, how you communicate, how you connect, how you treat the closest people around you. On the very first day of February, Venus is actually about to move into your seventh house and it will stay there for most of the month, for a couple of weeks. And Venus in seventh house is actually in a very harmonious position, which can help you to find compromises, to be more diplomatic, to be kind and polite, and to be considerate of the feelings of other people. So this really harmonizes the situation, even though Mercury is retrograde in seventh house and Mercury may bring complications, but hopefully Venus will balance the situation. On the 1st of February, also Mars in your 10th house will square the sun in seventh house. This aspect can bring some confrontations in your relationships, but also in your business or in communication with authority figures. Try not to be impulsive or reckless or to say or do things that you will regret later on. Give yourself some time. Don't push things too much. And keep in mind, you may also be provoked by other people. It is what it is. It's just an intense day. On the 6th of February, Venus will join Saturn in your seventh house. And this aspect brings very serious, very deep need for stability, especially when it comes to relationships and partnerships. You may need this stability, but the situation might be unpredictable because Uranus is also squaring Venus. So you are kind of like in the middle, especially on an emotional level. It might be a little overwhelming. Pay extra attention again to relationships, but also to your work and business, especially if you have business partners. This could be a time of disappointment, or some kind of surprises or some actions that you haven't expected from the other person. So again, intense and um, challenging combination. On the 8th of February, Mercury retrograde will join the sun in your seventh house. So again, lots of focus to those relationships and partnerships and those important other people in your life. You can reevaluate, you may look at things from a different perspective. There might be some delays also. The communication may not be as smooth as you wish. And it's also time for some self reflection. Think about how do you treat this other person or those other people that are important? Is there something you need to fix? Is there something you need to change in yourself so that the reaction? Of the other person will be different. 
it's um, it's a question it's uh, an intellectual challenge that you may need to solve but especially when it comes to communication you need to be more careful then on the 11th of february there is a very powerful and positive combination in your seventh house the two benefactors venus and jupiter are joining together which means you can succeed, you may prosper in the area of relationships, in something that you are doing with a partner. It can bring you benefits or rewards or just positive emotional experiences. On top of that, there is also a new moon in your seventh house, which opens new doors. It may not happen immediately because Mercury is still retrograde at this point, but you may feel this boost of energy and motivation to look at a new direction, to do something, maybe with a partner, maybe you need this support or it's just, you know, something that's important for both of you. But it's a symbolic new beginning in a way especially important for your personal life and for other partnerships as well. On the 13th of February, Mercury retrograde will join Venus in your seventh house. Relationships and partnerships might be restarted, re-evaluated, and the communication and negotiations might be somewhere in the air. From one side, they will be important, from another point of view, there might be a little delayed or it may just take some time to get where you want to go. But overall, the focus is on expression of your feelings, of your desires, but also listening to the other person as well. And maybe finding some solutions for previous problems as well. You can meet literally meet people from the past or if it's not physically meeting with them it can be nowadays online communication virtual connection all of that is definitely on the table another positive aspect on the 13th is between mars in 10th house and neptune in your eighth house a very creative combination that can make you feel really inspired to do something career-wise, in your business, maybe to help other people, to support them. You may also receive some financial support in order to achieve those projects and uh, those goals that you may have. So it's interesting. It's especially interesting for financial investments, finding resources, and also business projects. On Valentine's Day, another trigger of your seventh house. Mercury retrograde is joining Jupiter this time. Time to change your beliefs when it comes to relationships and partnerships. Do you have some kind of limiting beliefs? Is there something that's stopping you? Is there something inside of you that's the problem? Maybe you don't believe you deserve it or the right person exists or they will treat you right or whatever dig deeper into those beliefs and change them let them go heal them focus on this changed perspective you can make new plans with your partner maybe reconsider some of your plans reorganize and have some really interesting like big scale ideas, which perhaps are not brand new, but you have been kind of thinking about them in the past as well. Then on the 17th, we have one of the most important aspects during the whole year, Saturn squares Uranus. Two planets which honestly are not friends with each other. Two planets which can put us in a difficult position to find the balance between stability and change. And all of that triggers your business, your career projects, and also your 
personal life and your partnerships. Those could be part business partnerships that may bring the stress or change or the need to be really flexible and change the approach. But also sometimes there might be arguments with your personal life partner and somehow business could be related to it as well. So it is what it is. We need to find this balance. Then on the 18th of February, the sun is moving to your eighth house, which can make you more focused in some financial matters, investments, and uh, finding the right and necessary resources. Also, this is a period of um, more emotionality, being more vulnerable, and also great time for healing and for some energy practices. And after the 18th of February, for the next four weeks, the sun will be there. So dig deeper, heal, let go, and don't be afraid to face the truth. Eighth house can reveal those secrets that we've been trying to keep under the carpet, pretending they don't exist. Um, you need to look at that and bring the light there. On the 19th of February, intense combination between Venus in 7th, Mars in 10th house. This may also provoke some confrontations, arguments, and um, difficult situations, both personally and um, work-wise. Arguments, um, overreactions, all of that is possible, lack of compromises, and the other problem is that Mercury is stationary at this point on the 19th, which means that people may not be able to listen to each other or to understand each other properly. And all of that can lead to confrontations, arguments, all of that. My advice around those days, be calmer, avoid those direct confrontations and be careful both in your career and in your relationships. On the 20th, I kind of spoiled it for you. Mercury turns direct in your seventh house, which can harmonize your communication with other people, the mutual understanding, the ability to listen and understand each other properly. And overall, after that, we have the green light for new beginnings, especially when it comes to relationships and partnerships. If there were some problems or struggles during the past three weeks, after Mercury turns direct, you may find the right solutions. On the 24th of February, a very empowering, very energizing combination between Mars in 10th and Pluto in 6th house especially beneficial for business activities and work. You can be encouraged, motivated, confident, empowered. You can take some actions and also you may have more impact with your actions. So very productive, very constructive combination, especially when it comes to projects that you are really passionate about. So yeah, I honestly love this one. On the 25th, Venus is also moving to your eighth house, which emotionally may bring you some kind of, you know, internal storms, uh, intense emotions and so on. But this is also a great time for finding some financial resources for some investments and also for some emotional healing and transformation. The other positive aspect on the 25th is between the sun in 8th house and Uranus in your 10th house. New ideas about investments, about finding the resources, about some um, appropriate risks that you can take that I think it sounds well to put it this way appropriate risks 
And yeah, changes career-wise, financially, business, those are the themes. And finally, on the 27th of February, you have a full moon in your second and eighth house. This is the time to let certain things go, to solve some financial problems, and also to materialize things, some practical, concrete achievements. This full moon is also very beneficial if you need to work on your health, if you need to let go of certain negative habits or if you need to balance your own energy this is absolutely wonderful time for you so with that my friends we covered the most important events during february pretty intense for your relationships and partnerships but also those are the times when we can make changes and we can really make things happen Thank you so much for joining me. If you want to have a personal reading or a consultation or a coaching session with me, check the link below or go to marstars.net. Thank you so much again, and I'll catch you next time.